Hello everybody and welcome to a video that I've actually been looking forward to making for quite a little while. What you see in front of you is a very cool looking box, but what we care about is actually what is inside of this box today. Huge thank you to the people over at Red Magic for sending us over none other than the Red Magic 5G to do an unboxing and showcase of. Now, personally, this is a phone that I've been looking forward to for quite a while. I've always been a fan of the Red Magic phones because of their built-in shoulder triggers, but on top of it, this thing is an absolute beast that we are gonna be breaking down and showing off some gameplay of, but I can just go ahead and open this puppy up. Say hello to the Red Magic. 5g inside of this gorgeous box so huge thank you to red magic like i was saying for actually sending us this phone to do a little bit of an unboxing review and a gameplay with very cool packaging by the way i love the way like the box and everything looked inside of the box we have what appears to be a few boxes inside of them here we have our charging cable it is usb to usb c that'll definitely be coming in handy inside of this box looks like the power brick and indeed the power brick it is and then finally, here we have what may or may not be the like quick start manual. And yes, inside of this box, we do have a little bit of a red magic 5G manual, but let's hop into this beast. So here we got the phone by itself and it is wrapped up very nicely. We're gonna go ahead and peel this puppy open actually from the back and get our first uh, unblocked view at this beauty of a phone. And look at that. Let's actually go and take this out the way. So real quick, I went ahead and set up the phone, logged into my account and all that jazz. And one of the other cool features that actually comes built into this is the ability to open it via fingerprint. So y'all can see, I'm actually gonna just press my finger down. Boom, gets unlocked into an absolutely beautiful screen. What y'all are seeing over here is insane this is a 144 hertz refresh rate it's massive by the way like i have freaking huge hands and this thing is uh, a little pretty pretty big pretty big 6.65 inches across it's in a moled esports display and the thing that makes it esports is that insanely high refresh rate 144 hertz on this thing will allow for an unprecedented gaming experience obviously it's very snappy to actually like utilize as well and the fact that red magic was able to pack a 144 hertz refresh rate display into this is crazy that's the type of refresh rate you see on like esports grade gaming like displays and monitors that's packed into a phone this is unprecedented now speaking of its very cool gaming features it does also come packed with a few and hopefully y'all can see over here and here there are two shoulder pads on this thing that actually can be assigned to certain controls within games we'll be showing that off in a little bit of a second the red magic 5g also packs quite the punch obviously it's 5g enabled with sa and nsa dual mode support for all key regions so pretty much you're gonna be set with 5g in the latest and wireless technology with this thing and obviously if you are gaming on the go having the best type of wireless technology having the best download speed the best upload speed all of that will help you game to the best of your potential now inside of this thing there is also a qualcomm snapdragon 865 along with up to 12 gigabytes of lp ddr5 ram and 256 gigabytes of ufs 3.0 storage capacity now something incredible about this phone too is that it does come with a built-in gaming features so right over here y'all might be able to see this little red switch what you can actually do is if you flip that it activates this very cool animation and your phone will enter into this like gaming launcher that red magic has specifically like launched and packed into this phone so y'all can see i've already added call of duty mobile into here but you do also have the capability to add in more games as you do download them and whatnot and something incredible about this launcher is that it's, it's dedicated to being a gaming experience once you put it into this mode so if you actually swipe 
From the left, you get this little menu with a bunch of killer options. For example, you can enable the liquid cooling fan over here because this thing also does come packed with a active liquid cooling with turbo fan 3.0 ultra cooling system. This is a liquid cooled phone. So while the phone is absolutely beast moding in terms of like the power that it's packing and up to the 144 hertz refresh rate that it is possible that it is capable of like reaching it also does come with a liquid cooling system to keep your phone cool for throughout this also it doesn't overheat and you don't start experiencing lag and stuttering so that's probably like one of the most annoying things when i was like gaming back on my iphone is like when my iphone started to overheat like the game would get laggy with this built-in liquid cooling you can actually see there's some events in the phone like right there it might be kind of hard to see because it's a very thin and gorgeous phone but there's actually a vent right there there's a vent down here on the bottom of it as well and one one more right over there you might be able to see so this over here is actually a little thing that you would be able to plug this into a dock which is an additional accessory that you can get with the red magic 5g that comes with a built-in 3.5 millimeter headphone jack type c charging port and a 100 megabyte ethernet cable port as well along with of course being able to like dock the phone so you could potentially like, connect a controller and literally just like game and have it kind of be like a display on top of that another really cool thing that this could kind of come in handy with is that you could actually have a type c to hdmi adapter so once you have this kind of like set up in your dock or whatever you can technically connect this via an hdmi cable and run it to like a tv for example and it would kind of work as like a console in that case where you would be able to like play games potentially hook up a bluetooth controller have this like feed into your tv and this would kind of serve as i mean obviously it wouldn't be an xbox but kind of like a game like an xbox type like or ps4 type console experience where you're playing with a controller you're playing a game that's on the tv and it's all being powered by this phone so a lot of versatility gets packed into this too and so here's like a kind of cool of a little bit of a touch too when you actually do enable gaming mode you can see that there's this like led strip on the back that does activate that does make for a pretty cool effect but obviously y'all can see the back in general as well over here off my like super professional lighting and stuff but it is a very gorgeous black this of course is the black edition of the phone it does also come in red and this very cool pulse which is like a mix of both red and blue but we are rocking the very sleek fat black and sleek it is so overall it's a very powerful package as y'all are seeing and it's all powered by a 4500 milliamp battery which is going to give you quite some nice battery life and durability and it has up to a 55 watt quick charge which does allow you to actually pretty quickly charge the phone as well and as much of a beast as this is with gaming it is also a awesome phone in general like for example the camera which y'all can see over here on the back it is located right about there is a 64 megapixel sony triple camera with an imx 686 sensor plus super night mode as well but all right enough talking about the specs let's go ahead and let's launch this game and show off just how gorgeous this is gonna be looking so first off the audio quality Hopefully y'all can hear that is actually really good. Obviously it's never going to be as good because like it's playing through the phone and then my mic's picking it up secondhand. But for a phone, the audio quality on this is absolutely gorgeous. The shoulder triggers, which I think I have shown off, but which can be located there and there you can actually assign to certain controls. So for example, here's how you would actually configure the shoulder triggers depending on the game that you are playing because the game launcher that we were showing off when you do flick that little red switch right over there, it actually will save your settings for each game. So whenever you customize something for one game, the game launcher remembers that. So you don't have to worry about your control schemes and settings and everything conflicting with each other. So for example, we can swipe at any time from this side of the screen and then we see this whole menu pop up one of the things is the pro trigger we can go ahead and click that from there we now have the capability of actually configuring our triggers over here y'all can see this little l and this little r you pretty much drag those two things to wherever you want the left and the right shoulder button to correspond to so i'll drag the l over here where my aim down sights is and i'll drag the r over here where my shoot button is so it's kind of going to be like a console experience where i will like use the left trigger to aim down my sights and the right trigger to shoot so for some people it might be overwhelmed by pure touch controls or having to like play claw for example and it might just feel awkward or something the red magic actually provides a way of having something a little bit more akin 
to a console experience. Like you still have to use your thumbs on the screen, but you can actually use your pointer fingers kind of as triggers that correspond to each of those two shoulder buttons. And over here, we're gonna be showing this off in just a second because it is just so comfortable. And for those of y'all who have been playing console, you'll love this. Like even if you aren't a console player, it is still very nice to have that just for the pure sake of comfort. Because personally, I like having like being able to, I'll show you guys how I hold, it's gonna be upside down here, but I like having it like this, where I can have my fingers kind of at the top of the phone and my thumb just like that. Now there are a few more settings that you can mess with. For example, over here, you can enable how many Hertz you want the screen to be anywhere from 60 to 90 to 144 Hertz, which is the smoothest experience out there. Over here, you can enable and disable the fan and liquid cooling, which will keep Yo, thank cool. You literally can also tap on these settings to block incoming messages, incoming calls so for an uninterrupted gaming experience. And there are a few more cool little features you can do like 4D shock for certain games. You can actually do a screenshot over there. But I want to bring y'all's attention over here as well because you have the you can actually turn on this little aim assist thing over here. So all that you have to configure is it actually lets you set up a little bit of an icon that kind of serves as a crosshair. So y'all might see that little red dot in the middle of the screen i'm going to change that to green you can actually change the colors to a variety of them so it's kind of like having a bonus little cross here you can make it as big or as small as you want but it's just going to constantly be right there in the middle of the screen so overall kind of nice to always know where you're going to be aiming down your sights due to that little green button obviously it might be kind of hard to tell because my guy's green but for example like right there you might be able to see it in the middle of his blackness of his armor there's also this like enhancement feature here that pretty much lets you pick like the performance and the type of like mode that you're playing in so for example you can do the performance if you want your gpu which is your graphics to be turbo if you want your cpu which is your processor to be turbo or if you want everything to be super performance and we just went ahead and enabled that puppy so this thing is going to be going beast mode right about now on top of that there are like different configurations you can pick like default you can pick like a car racing game a moba game auto but i actually enabled the little shoot over here so it's kind of like it tunes the phone like it'll increase the brightness and certain contrast to make it easier for you to like spot enemies for example and hopefully they'll like stick out more against the screen but without further ado let's hop into a game and hopefully y'all can screw that little like green dot in the middle of the screen that is of course that feature that we did enable god dude this is so freaking smooth to be playing on this this spoils me compared to playing on freaking iphone right and check it out just super easy boom 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 aim down the sights it's just so freaking nice because i used to be a console player i played quite a lot of console back in my day and it's just so easy access to have your triggers be assigned to certain actions and just be able to like dedicate your thumbs to like the various actions that have nothing to do with shooting. Oh, we're getting back capped. Let's uh, stop that shenanigans, bro. Not allowed. Oh, baby. And just a like, combination between like the ease of access, the cool controls. Oh, I thought I saw that guy over there. Oh, hello. I'll go and deal with this guy real quick. Bop. Check it out. Already got some beautiful stuff coming our way. Oh, baby, we beasting. Get out the way, pole. You're blocking my kills. We got a person over that way. Oh, no, dude. I didn't get the chance to reload. Ah, that cost us. We got a Molotov and stuff, though. Yeah, let's toss that puppy. Get the Uav. Let's actually make sure that we got a gun here. Hey, my dude. Man, it's just so nice. Like, don't get me wrong, I got used to Claw, but especially because I have just, like, massive hands. Claw kind of, like, gave me, like, carpal tunnel a little bit. Like, being able to, like, have dedicated triggers just kind of, like, on the tops of the phone. It's just very comfortable compared to having to play Claw. I mean, it's similar to playing Claw, but to me, it's, like, a more comfortable Claw, if that makes sense. Woo! First half done -zo. And there you boys and girls have it. Truly just... A phone that takes gaming to the next level. So again, huge thank you to Red Magic for sending this phone our way. As we've been showing off, it's an absolute beast. And I'm just so stoked to be able to like use this thing because like this is without a doubt the best gaming phone I have ever had. It's ready for the future with that 5G. All the crazy specs about it between the high refresh rate, the liquid cooling, the big battery, the built-in shoulder buttons, the dedicated freaking game mode and launch center, and all these specific software tweaks that work towards games like if you are a mobile gamer or if you want to take mobile games more seriously or even if you could never get into mobile games because you hated having to only use like the touch screen like there's just so many different people that this phone appeals to and 
it is a good deal too like for the eclipse black and hot rod red versions which do come with eight gigabytes of ram and 128 gigabytes of storage they're gonna cost you 579 dollars us and then the 12 gigabyte and 256 gigabyte of storage pulse edition is gonna run you 649 dollars but for this massive phone complete package incredible specs like that's a deal but yeah there you boys and girls have it again make sure to check out that link at the top of the description to check out the store page for the bread magic 5g potentially learn more about it potentially get one for yourselves because if you like mobile games if you like gaming on the go any and all that like this just brings a whole new level to mobile gaming with all of its features so i'm a big fan of it and i think y'all will be as well on top of it being a beast of a normal phone but uh yeah with that said that's gonna start wrapping it up for me for now thank you guys a whole ton for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one See you.